Hello, this is Mr. Abamo Idano Gwene. I'm here to show you this applet that I just designed using the GeoGebra Classic software. You can see the name there. So this is just a digital clock or you can say a stopwatch I just designed using GeoGebra. And you can use it in your classroom. Because sometimes I discover that in our classrooms we may want to give our children quiz question to answer and we want to design a stop watch in this way so that the children can be timed and they can also know their speed limits you understand the quickness of solving a particular question so that's why I did this one and I did it using the GeoGebra Classic software it's very easy to operate this just click on the start button you can see the timing of start counting this is in seconds so five seconds six seconds depend on the time you give to your student to answer a particular question so if you say for example 20 seconds to answer a question when it's 20 seconds everybody is seeing it in the classroom and you stop seeing and then to start another question you reset it you go back to zero 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 so this is simple applet I designed so there's no need even showing you how I designed it you can actually get this applet I will, in the description of the video you can download it in the description of the video just below the link where you get this video just go to the description click on the link you get this applet in your system you can use it anytime in your classroom to demonstrate to your students how quick they can solve a question and the beauty of this applet you know this GeoGebra classic software you can actually put your question here you don't need to display this with the projector or whatever you are using to teach to display to your children in class maybe you are using a projector you don't need to display this through your laptop through your projector to the board for the children to see the timing and you now start writing the question with your hand you can actually prepare all your questions using the GeoGebra classic for example, if I want to, let me just type few, a few examples you can see. So as you click on this, you can see the text uh, icon. You just click on the text, click anywhere you want it to be on the screen. Then you start typing here. See, but if you want to type mathematical equation in GeoGebra, just click on this advanced. Then you can see latex formula. So through the latex formula, it depends on what you want to type. And see if it's fraction you want to type you type on this if it's power you can see it if it's base if it's square root just like that the nth root of a number vectors or matrix you can see it just like that you see your summation symbol integration symbol whatever question you want to give to your student just click on it this is different mathematical equations you are looking for the bracket and the rest just like that so let me just put a simple one let's say for example I'm doing add, let's say addition of fractions I can just click on this see it has come to this place so this value of a is talking about the numerator just type the numerator let me say 3 is my numerator then this B is the denominator let's say 5 for example then to your keyboard you press your plus is there then fraction again then a is your numerator let's say that is 3 over 5 plus let me say for example 2 let's say 2 over let me use okay let's say 2 over 7 for example so I've done all this is all I need just press ok so you can see it in the screen here and just like that for example okay, let me say I want them to simplify this so you can right click settings you can see it you can do the text on that text you can reset it here again then just type simplify simplify then okay so it has come out now then you close it here so that is all stop the time reset
And if you want it to be bold, you can see it's very small here. Just click on it, then come to this place, click on this place. You can see boldness here. If you want to increase the font size, it's in small now. Click on medium, see it's getting bigger. Let me click on large, hmm, just like that. It's okay, so I think this is visible enough. Depend on the visibility you want, you can click on whatever you want. Very large, you can see it. But let me leave it large, just like that. You can have this as a question, give to your student, simplify. 3 over 5 plus 2 over 5. You can just time them. You can do it like a quiz in your class, just like that. Just click on start. See, it's going, let's say, 10 seconds, depend on how many minute, seconds you time them. One minute, depend on you. When it's time, you just stop. Stop. Then reset, just like that. So there are so many things you can actually do. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can input so many questions. Then you can hide this one, bring another one, hide it just like that. And it will help your classroom to do some timing in their mathematics. So once again, my name is Agbamu Idonogwene. I just bring this video to help you mathematics teachers in your classroom. Even students, you can have it as personal uh, improvements, personal way of uh, checking yourself how fast you can solve instead of uh, using your wristwatch or your work clock you can be doing it here and be solving and timing yourself stopping it you start and you stop so that is all for this video don't forget again to download this applet I have here go to the description of the video click on the link there you will get it and use it anytime you want so thank you for watching do have a nice day